Folks, you are back at I'm Quitting Alcohol with comedian David Boyle and I don't like going to the doctors. I am so fucking against going to the doctors. That's why I walked around with a broken finger for fucking two days like an idiot before I even went. Because when I originally broke my finger, I squeezed it a couple of times and there was no pain. I was like, there's no break then. I didn't think about the adrenaline that was coursing through my veins. But it's never any good fucking news. And if I go in for servicing, they're definitely going to fucking find something wrong with the gearbox and the engine and pretty much all the electricals. It's not going to be fucking good news, that's for sure. They're not going to be like, well, Mr. Boyle, almost two decades of debauchery and hedonistic living and you've come out unscathed. Here, here's a lollipop. Enjoy the rest of your day. They're going to find fucking something. That's why I like a genius. I just never go for health checkups. And I barely go to the doctor. My wife's sister fucking hates me. My wife's sister is a doctor. And she fucking hates my self-diagnosis. I don't even Google. I just guess. And to be honest with you, my guesses have... Almost never been correct. She is almost right 100% of the time. My wife will call her and say, oh, this happened to David today. I'm like, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I just blinked and then got blurry vision and then got a migraine for five and a half hours for some reason. I think I looked at the sun fucking funny or something. And my wife's sister's like, can you tell him to go down to the hospital and get a fucking CAT scan? immediately because whatever that is that does not sound fucking good and i'm like fucking cat scan all that scan is going to discover is that i'm a fucking idiot you have been working with so little brain for the last 35 years that it's a miracle that you're still alive if i do go to the doctor though the ones i trust the most are the asian doctors asian doctors with australian accents I like, I kind of like the Asian doctors with the Asian accents, but you're like, can I understand you? And you're a little bit cold. Your Asian culture is making me feel a little cold. Whereas an Asian doctor with an Australian accent or anything, any accent, could be English, could be American, could be German. Everything except Irish. If I saw an Asian doctor with an Irish accent, I'd be like, all right, yeah, you're probably the best in this country, but what kind of low-level fucking Asian doctor are you to end up in Ireland? Come on, mate. Even I can become a doctor in fucking Ireland. It's so fucking weird hearing the Irish accent on people of different ethnicities. Like There was this black guy on the building sites I used to work with, Full black guy, African guy with a fucking thick Irish accent. Oh, you cunt. Oh, you cunt. Come over here, you fucking cunt. I'm like, I'm not racist, but I'm racist against you. Go back and get that fucking Nigerian accent sorted. I can't be fucking listening to that. That's chaos. Yeah, so I trust Asian doctors with Australian accents because they bring the best of both worlds. They bring the hard work and dedication and traditional medicine of the Chinese people mixed with the far superior medicines of the white man. You get the best of both worlds, Asian and whitey. So next time you go to the doctor and your doctor's name is like Xing Shong, just get him to fucking say a couple of sentences before you accept his help. I don't mind Indian or Sri Lankan or Bangladeshi doctors either. They're all right. They're okay. But they do tend to just want to prescribe you whatever drugs they're getting fucking paid to dish out to you. Definitely do not trust white doctors. How the fuck did they even get through university? And why did they even want to become doctors? What is their motive? That's what I want to know. Do they care? 
I went to I went to a doctor once, a white doctor against my will, but it was an emergency. One time I tried to quit drinking, and after five days of not drinking and not smoking cigarettes, not smoking darts. I fucking was having a little fondle of my nuts and I found a fucking lump and I was like, oh my God, that would be right, wouldn't it? That would be fucking right. I quit drinking five days in, ball cancer. Jesus Christ. So I fucking sped to a doctor and I'm like, doc, I have something on my nut. And I got my nuts out and he felt it and he's like, nah, that's a cyst. Don't worry about it. It'll go away. See you later. I'm like, that was quick. And then I walk out the front to have a cigarette because I was fucking stressing out about that lump. And then 30 seconds later, who's standing next to me having a dart himself? The fucking doctor. I'm like, did you care about my nuts or were you just trying to get me out of there so you could have a fucking dart? And we sort of looked at each other. He gave me a nod. I was like frowning. I'm like, you just have my fucking nuts in your hand, bro. And is that the same hand... You were holding my balls with. Another time I went to a whitey doctor, I had this mole on my inner thigh. And I was like, oh, that's weird. That's a weird shape. So I went in and I'm like, hey, doc, can you check that mole on my inner thigh? Yeah, give the balls a little rub on the way through as well. Freestyle it. Improv. And the doctor was like, yeah, that is a strange shape. We're going to have to take a biopsy of that. Come in tomorrow and we'll just do a quick little procedure. We'll send it away and we'll get the results in a couple of weeks. And that was 14 years ago. And I still haven't gone back for that biopsy yet. Because you know what? It's not going to be fucking anything good. I just know my luck. I just know God's fucking after me now. I just know he's after me. I've broken too many fucking promises now. So I need to be careful. I need to be real fucking careful. All right, that's it for me tonight. Get your stories in for Fucked Up Friday. Send them into my social media. I'm at Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And everyone who's been messaging me saying they enjoy the podcast, thank you very much. Keep them coming. I enjoy the interaction with all of you. It's fucking inspiring. You inspire me. But uh, yeah, no, I enjoy it. And... Yeah, I don't know. Fucking give us a rating and review, whatever. Do what you need to do. See you later.